mtazamaji wa Bongofa TV kama kawaida kuleta exclusive interview. Jina langu ni Yasin Nyitu na leo mgeni wangu ni 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 ni, ni, ni Q Chief, Q Chila. Ili jina ni kubwa sana kwenye muziki wa Bongo Flava kama umeona ninavyojua. Na leo kubwa tunapigana story mali matatu lakini kubwa kimia yake na baadhi ya project ambazo umezitoa. Mambo ni kimia kimia hivi. Bro, mambo vipi? Mambo poa Yasin vipi? Sasa unakuja kuchili sehemu ambayo upepo umetulia sana. Yeah, sometimes you need to meditate sababu a lot of things are going on and you need to sit down and relax angalia football angalia tennis lakini pia unafanyia kazi vitu fulani yeah music unaionaje sasa hivi as kwa kwa wewe lakini we are in a good position uh, we are in a good position kuna mabadiliko mengi lakini pia kuna changamoto nyingi. Ah uh, Jusin mpoteza rafiki a good artist very talented. Uh, young with ambition. Godzilla recent peace. My condolences to the family to the fans. Well it's life kazi ya Mungu. Yes. Yeah. Safari ni moja na ujui uh, muda na wakati wako. Kwa hiyo mambo ni mengi muda ni mchache. Yeah. Nataka ndio kwanza kwako. Kuna mengi yanaendelea ya, ya, ya na ah, sasa nataka nizunguzie kuhusu muziki wako kwa uchila. Kimya kimya lakini tunamaanisha uoga unatoa project na promotion zinaendelea na mambo mengine yanaendelea lakini sasa hivi tumeona kimya kimya project ilitoa promotion kama hakuna nini kinaendelea a wise man once told me that uh, there will be time when people will cheer at you and there will be time when people will boo at you but none of them should distract you because those are just noisy to make you relevant. Nikamuuliza what do you mean akasema if you have focus and you are a believer that you believe in God and make people believe in Q chief because sababu you have the talent you had the time to think about it to go through it so i'm relevant that's all i can say lakini kuna mambo mengi yanaendelea chini kwa chini kwenye muziki yeah kuna mambo mengi yanaendelea kuna kipindi nilisema naacha lakini kwa mapenzi ya fans kwa mapenzi ya Mungu na dua zao there are some people who value the amount of talent that you have they believe in you and they believe kwamba unapita tu kwenye changamoto is just a process ndio maisha wanasema lakini like projects zinaendelea na this time around tunaifanya mature kwa sababu i'm on my own na kuna vitu vingi vinaendelea lazima niviangalie katika mtazamo tofauti in a positive way lakini like well and well projects zinakuja very soon tumepata marafiki kutoka USA Chicago uh, Atlanta ambao kwa bahati nzuri wanathamini wanaelewa mziki wangu na wanasema kiu chief una artist wengi Tanzania ambao tunaheshimu tunawapenda lakini tunaiona nafasi yako na tunajua uwezo wako na tunaomba tuchangie katika njia yoyote lakini tusijulikane kama ni videos kama ni audio sessions and everything so there is a team of backup and there is something good coming up soon. Kuna baadhi ya watu wanaweza kuwa na tafsiri tofauti. Kiuchila unakuwa una 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 unapata baadhi ya management na unafanya nazo kazi. Lakini kwamba unakwama kwama. Nini kinakuhamisha hapa katikati kinaingilia kati hapa? Benadhani watu wanaokuja kuwekeza kwangu au kutaka ni support ni watu wenye nia nzuri tu. Kwa kijana ambaye na watoto, ambaye na family. 
ama amepita hatua nyingi za maisha lakini nilichojifunza ni kwamba sio kila mtu anaheshimu ana, 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 anaelewa pale ambapo namshika mkono mtu ambaye yuko nyuma yangu na kumpelekea kumwambia kwamba i need support na hatujakuja na this much but we, tuna kiasi hiki uh, tungeweza kumpa mtangazaji yoyote au mtu yoyote lakini tunakupa wewe kwa kuheshimu position yako na thamani yako na kwa kujua kwamba utatusaidia lakini most of the time they break their hearts kwa hiyo mtu always to kuwekeza tu kuwekeza tu na one profit kwa hiyo naweza nikasema sometimes sio kuita sio watu sahihi inaweza kusema wanajisahau mwewe kutokea namna hiyo yeah yeah mimi nimewahi ku 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 unajua hawa nao wana familia wana watoto unazanzia kwa mtangazaji na wadau wa muziki inaweza isiwe mtangazaji inaweza kawa ni mdau inaweza kawa kwa kwa mfano hapa nzungumzie mtu huyu ni mtangazaji ambaye anafanya kazi kitu wa fulani kwa nini sitaji hiki kituo ni kwa sababu mimi naheshimiana na hiki kituo na sina tofauti nacho na hata kama kulikuwa kuna tofauti I'm a man I'll learn to keep my things inside and to fight my war underground lakini napofika kipindi naguswa na jambo na nashikwa na kitu kinanikaba na sema na kuwa na stakabal kama mtoto wa Kiislamu au mtoto wa kiume alafu inashindikana nakupa pesa zangu na kuletea wawekezaji wanakupa pesa ni kiasi lakini wewe unachukulia ni kitu kidogo alafu hufanyii kazi vile ambavyo inatakiwa i don't expect too much from you but i expect kwamba unatambua kwamba sikuja mikono mitu even though financially i'm not in a good position but the people that i come with a little bit want to try to be helpful to me not that they have too much lakini wewe ukifika uh, akatangaza shida zake aka, vipindi vyake matatizo yake akasaidiwa lakini all that connection came from me and the last thing she could do is just forget about my promotion forget about what we talked about na amechukua pesa na hajali kama amechukua pesa sasa unachukua pesa kwa mtu kama kiuchi ukitegemea kwamba sehemu ambayo upo itakuguide au mwenyewe utajiguide kwamba tulipeana katika misingi ipi lakini this is not a big picture unawapa watu msongo mawazo tuna watoto tuna wake tuna family tunasomesha mtoto wangu wa kiume ame graduate juzi azania amepasi from 2 kuingia 3 amepata division 1 babake anapitia sentimental time uh, anapitia kwenye hatua tofauti amekuwa akiishi chini ya changamoto za wanafunzi wenzake walimu na mazingira yanamzunguka but still consistency to be number one. what if ile amount ningeichukua nikaipeleka kwa mwana wangu what if i would have done that but i did it for love and for the sake of my music kwamba labda ita return niweze ku figure out how is gan in terms kuma mtoto wangu so jana usingizi sikupata kabisa nimelala naona uji na fikiria ule mtoto wa kike anasema mbona analetea warusha mbona analetea ukaskazini analetea utamaduni ambao nimeishi nao kiniumiza muda mrefu alafu naona kwamba all they're trying to do is make me relevant but i should speak to my people kwamba kuna watu ambao wanatukomesha ni kama corrupted she doesn't care about us she thinks she's ahead of the game because she's been playing with usi and jukes every time why every artist is thinking kwamba she's just corrupted unajua anaribu image ya radio station anaribu image ya watu ambao tunaheshimiana nao unajua i don't know what gives her the power that she can do this but i want my money unajua i want my money kwa sababu hapa mjini kumconvince mtu kuwekeza katika kazi yako pia it needs a talent it needs you to be obedient it needs you to be real na kumfanya mtu aamini so it's better she gives me that money nipeleke msikitini waweke umeme nitapata shawabu kuliko ya itumie la yangu kwa mabwana zake au ku misuse it kwenye less weeks i hills and stuff of showing off you know 
I think it's not right. I think it's not right. Kwa kikubwa unachohitaji ni ni pesa yako kwa sababu hajajitekeleza kile ambacho mlikubaliana. Ni kiasi, mimi nakiita kiasi sio pesa lakini um, kama Uislamu anaweza kuswali na kapata umeme maji it can be useful to me for tomorrow because I'm looking for my tomorrow and I can get it at the same time. Lakini ninapokupa pesa yangu alafu wewe una unachukulia tofauti. I mean I'm stupid. From the definition of myself, I, I, who wanna do a mini dabu? Like in some people prefer silver, which is okay. Mona, again, all this makes me irrelevant to be who I am. This is what they have created. Umem tenge ni zamtu ambaye sikutaka kwa hivi. Kwa sometimes niko on camera na nekana kama na lamika. No, si lamiki na eleze ya kamba kuna watu tunaishi nao katika jamii moja lakini wana utamaduni tofauti na utamaduni wetu sio wazuri kwa tafsiri nyingine definitely unaishi kwa kukariri alafu unachukua pesa ya mtu kama kiuchi ambaye watu wote wanajua anapitia situations gani and you take this amount of money this such iki kias ni kikubwa kwangu we don't live through trends anymore unajua so kuna watu wanapelekea watu kufanya vitu ambavyo vina watu wanja misengi hawa ni dada zetu watu wazima lakini wanajiona hawana makosa by the way uliwahi kumtafuta labda kumpigia simu kwa sababu mwisho wa siku mlikubaliana na kufanya hivyo labda kumtafuta kwa namna moja nyingine kuongea time is limited i've got a lot of things i will